Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with FC Groningen. We are two games away from the mid-season break. In between episodes, I, right, this episode was supposed to be Vitesse. I've played Vitesse, I'll come to that in a minute. In between episodes, we have played a total of six games, two in the Europa League, one in the Dutch Cup third round and three in the Eredivisie. And so far, we've, we've managed to climb our way up in the Eredivisie. We finished the Europa League group. Obviously, we've qualified. I said that last time. And we've been knocked out of the Dutch Cup. First up, then, was a Europa League game up against Spartak Moscow. And it was a 3-2 defeat. Spartak Moscow, actually a really good side. Z. Luis, Quincy Primes and Dimitri Kobramov with the three goals for Moscow. Marco Ruzmir gets two goals for us. Wasn't enough, but it didn't make any difference in terms of the league standings. Into the league and a comfortable 3-1 victory against SC Kambar. Gonzalo Carniero with a goal on 52 minutes. Gianfranco Bolhalder, who I think that was his first ever goal for the club on 58. Gaston with a goal on 68 as well. Late on for them, Adam Dyer scores in the 90th minute. Not enough for them. Three points for us, moving us up the table. Then up against the surprise package of the league in NAC Breda. And they beat us 2-0. We just weren't good. Strike force, once again, this is the problem we have. Sometimes the strike force just don't turn up. And this was a prime example of the game. Late on in the match, Opa Neguet and Zlatko Tripic with the two goals for NAC, giving them three points. But that is three points we really should have had because that would have meant we would have moved up to a third, I think, at this point. And the final league game was up against Heracles, a comfortable 5-0 victory. Marco Ruzmir with a goal, Juna Toivio also with a goal, Dino Hotic gets a couple as well, and David Aguanaga late on in the game, 5-0, very comfortable win. Back in the Europa League and a 2-1 victory against Maccabi Tel Aviv, Marco Ruzmir and Alberto Seri with the goals for us, Imar Ezekiel with the goal for them, we end up finishing second in the group and we have drawn Standard Liège as you can see further down the list there, which is probably going to be not next episode, the one after maybe, I don't know, why do I say this, I'm never going to do that, I'll always pick two matches and then change it. Because this was a game that was supposed to be in this episode. In the end, it was a 2-0 defeat against Vitesse. And once again, another game where our strikers didn't turn up. Julian Leliveld and Joel Thode were the two goals for Vitesse. You can see our only player who performed was David Aguanaga, who somehow got an 8.2. We didn't score a single goal in this game, and we are knocked out of the Dutch Cup at the third round. Today, then, we're going to have two relatively easy games. FC Twente and FC Emmen, 15th and 17th place in the table. We are currently sat 6th in the table. We've still got three games in hand against quite a lot of teams. Two against the top two sides, Ajax and NAC, although NAC are playing today, and I'm assuming Ajax are probably playing tomorrow. They're not. They, they've, they're, on, they're on 17. I don't know why they're on 17. So far in this entire Groningen save, we've played FC Emmen five times and they have not beaten us at all. So there's always today and I'm now I've pointed that out, I'm almost certain they're going to beat us. The starting lineup we are going to go for then against FC Emmen. Christian Lasso returns to the starting 11 after being out for quite a while with a fractured wrist. Constant Nabu, Juna Toivio, Ilar Popovsky and Josh Timmon are the back four. Bolhalder and Josh Enoma are the two central midfielders. David Aguanaga and Gaston are the wingers. Gonzalo Carniero and Marco Ruzmir are the strikers. Can I point out Marco Ruzmir? He's ridiculous. He's considered a wonder kid at 19 years old. He is absolutely ridiculous. He's got a trait of shoots from distance. So I'm actually intentionally training his long shots and he likes to lob the keeper. This guy, I just found this guy, a partisan. Uh, of course it's partisan. If you've watched my Blackburn save, you realise that partisan make really good youth players. A rather offensive looking formation for FC Emmen. Although, as I said earlier, they have yet to beat us this save. Seven and a half minutes in, Aguanaga's free kick. Toivio's there. It's saved by Kortsmith. Was that the whole highlight? I think it might have been, you know. Maybe it wasn't. More action is happening. Ossaway on the left wing. Three players in the box. Crosses in. He's going to find Kirkby. And Andreas Kirkby has scored after eight minutes. On the counter-attack, we shouldn't be losing to FC Emmen. 17 minutes on the clock and we've got more action. Ossaway once again with the ball on the left. Crosses it in. Christian Lasso makes the save. I say makes the save. It wasn't really a shot. Lasso runs with the ball towards the edge of his area. Kicks it way, way over the halfway line to Carniero. Gaston. 
forward to Rosemere. The Wonder Kid takes it out wide. Gaston, not Gaston, sorry. Oh, what are you doing, Rosemere? It was Carniero who was running in there, and he really should have passed to him. Caught Smith with a free kick over the halfway line, but it's going to hopefully come back. Timon with a head to Aguanaga, just inside his own half. Forward to Bolhalder. Through ball to Rosmer, but he's not going to get there. Lima back to Courtsmith again. The the keeper's just running it. He's ran it out of his area. Why didn't we close him down? Osaway, plenty of space because Constant Nabu can't get close to him. Crossed in and Lasso plucks the ball out of the air. That can't be a highlight. There must still be more from this. Lasso's kick over the halfway line. Rosmer, plenty of space to control it. Gets tackled, but Aguanaga collects the ball. Takes it out wide. Can he cross it in? He does cross it in. It's cleared by Lima. Caragunas is forward, but Ballhalder intercepts. Rosmir. Aguanaga gets it. Crossed in. Carney Arrows at the back. It's 1 all. We shouldn't have been 1 0 down in the first place, but we are back in the game. More action. Courtsmith with a goal kick. Corte isn't going to win the header. Josh Timmon does. Tavita. Caragunas. Lots of space forward in front of him. Plays the ball through and Christian Lasso collects it. So the highlight is going to start from here then, realistically. He's kicked it over the halfway line towards Carniero. Does win the header to Gaston. Gaston runs at the ma- uh, runs at his man. Cross in. Rusmir's there. And Marco Rusmir has... You've got a question. The goalkeeper. That shouldn't have gone in. He should have saved that. But it's 2-1 and we've moved up to fifth place. This is much more like it. We should be putting teams like Emmon away very easily, much like we did against whoever it was that we beat 5-0. Half time then, we are 2-1 to the good. Ilar Popovsky's not having a good game, although defensively, I don't think we're playing very well at all. Luckily, our strikers are bailing us out at the moment. Court Smith with a goal kick. This is the first highlight of the second half. Corte doesn't win the header. Tim and does. Vindorp. Into Smeets in the middle. Karagunis isn't going to get there. Anoma. David Aguanaga. Rosmir now. Three players up with him. Across to Gaston. Gaston takes it inside. Not a great pass. And it's kicked upfield. But Toivio intercepts. Where are you going to go? Nabu wants. Nabu gets. Going to play it back to Toivio. Back to Nabu? Nope. Okay. Forward to Anoma. Josh Anoma. All the way across. Marco Rosmir. Aguanaga should have made a run but stopped it. He does get the ball though. Timmons behind him, kicks into his face, but Timmon chests it down, crosses in, Carniero's there, Carniero's header is just over the bar. 56 minutes in, Josh Anoma is coming off because he's looking complacent, and Janino Bakuna, I feel sorry for him because he's, he's really good, when he plays he's amazing, he always wants football, but I can't really justify dropping Josh Anoma and Bolhalder because they're actually doing really well as a pair. Almost into the final 20 minutes, and it looks like Emmon have won a penalty. They've won a flipping penalty. Popovsky's going to get blamed for it. Who is stepping up to take the penalty? Come on, Lasso. You've saved them in the past. It is going to be Kirkby, the goal scorer. Christian Lasso, you hero, makes the save. Nabu kicks it out for a throw on. We are very lucky to be 2 on up at the moment. Gaston with a free kick towards Bakuna. Bakuna's gone down, and we've got a penalty of our own now. Who is going to be taking this? It's usually Juna Toivio. It is Juna Toivio stepping up to take the penalty. He's put it into the corner. It is 3-1. We have basically, we've lucked our way out of this one and we might be picking up three points. Straight away following the goal, I'm going to do a sub and I'm going to bring off, um, I'm going to bring off Rosmir. I'm going to bring on Alberto Seri. Seri, he's a natural target man and I don't really play him because Rosmir's a wonder kid. And it's very difficult to drop him. Nabu intercepts the ball. Forward to Carniero. Seri's making a run forward. Does get the ball. He's the right side of his man. He's had a go. He's blazed it over the bar. Should have made it 4-1. Five minutes left to play. I'm tempted to just bring on a player for the sake of it. Right, Keita and Ballhalder are going to make a swap. Keita, he's kind of my utility man. I like Keita because he can play anywhere down the middle. Usually he plays as a striker, but today he's playing as a deep line playmaker. 10 seconds overtime, and that is it. It is a 3 1 victory, a lucky 3 1 victory, but it, all that matters is we get the three points. That result moves us up into fifth place in the table, 10 points behind league leaders Ajax, but we have two games in hand over them. So if it's a very big if, but if we win both of our games in hand, I assume one of them is against Hirenveen, and one of them is probably against Feyenoord. We will be on 36 points, 37 points, sorry, which is enough to put us into second place. (laughs) 
Fresh off the back of being destroyed 5-0 by Feyenoord, we have got FC Twente. They are in woeful form, sat 17th place in the table. This, on paper, is a walk in the park. Although, FC Twente are one of those sides in the Eredivisie that they are sometimes really good, sometimes really bad. I'm hoping they're really bad. A little bit of rotation for this game. In goal is Christian Lasso. Back four sees the debut, I say debut, the first appearance in a video anyway, for Thijman Goppel, the Dutch right back. He's come in for Constant Nabiu. Juna Toivio, Ilar Popovsky and Josh Timmen round off the back four. Janino Bakuna partners Gianfranco Bonhalder today. Frank Dogbol comes in for Gaston and David Aguanaga keeps his place. Gonzalo Carniera and Marco Rosmi are the strikers. Goppel is one of those players that he's not very good, but he's two and a half star, so he's not horrendous, he's just not going to get better, oh he's two star, yeah he's not going to get better, but as a fullback, he's he's he's, av- he's pretty poor, he's pretty poor, let's, uh, he's, he might, this might be a terrible decision. After this match we will go into the uh, mid-season winter break thing, all the way through to about mid-January I think it is, so it'll be nice to end this half of the season, and uh, is it technically a half? I think, but for us, I think it is. Yes, it is exactly halfway through the season for us. It'll be nice to get to the halfway point on another victory. Bolhalder has a go. It's in the back of the net. Van der Lely is going to get an own goal, but it should probably be Bolhalder's because I think it was probably going in anyway. I'm expecting us to uh, put like four or five past Twente at the moment, particularly with the way they're playing and the fact that we've had four shots after 15 minutes. Or there's going to be no highlights apart from that singular goal. We've made it. To the half an hour mark, we've had eight shots to their one, and so far we've had one highlight. Second highlight of the game, it's taken 38 minutes to get here. Bolhalder, he's been fouled, and Jaeger is going to get sent off, which means FC Twente have now got a mountain to climb. 1 0 down, and down to 10 men. There he goes, the referee took his time trying to get his red card out, but he's gone. Half time then, and it is only 1 0, and I think we have to we have to blame Carniero. I mean, he's gained a bit of confidence thanks to the team talk, but Carniero's on a 6.4. He's probably the one who's getting in all the positions, but not actually scoring any goals. I'm going to give him until 60 minutes, and if he's not scored by that point, he's definitely coming off. Jensen collects the ball. Pal. To Jensen again. Frankie Dogbowl tackles him. Goppel. Goppel. First time we've seen him all game. Pal. Lulic. Lulic to Jensen. Bentevegner, Bentevegner, sure, Lulic in the middle, Bentevegner gets it back, passing it around like they're actually Barcelona and they're 7-0 up, Lulic gets it back, these three, all just the same three players, just passing it around in triangles, where are you going to go, Lulic, what a surprise, Bentevegner gets it, turns, makes some space, has a go, it's a terrible effort, all of that for that final shot. Just before the hour mark, we are going to go all change. Ibergeren is coming on for Carniero. Dogbold is going to come off for Dino Hottich. This right-hand side, I think, is probably where we're getting quite a lot of the ball, but not actually doing anything with it. Into the final 20 minutes, we've had 17 shots and just three on target. That is absolutely appalling, considering we are potentially going to win this game thanks to an own goal. Final five minutes. I really want another goal, but if we go more attacking, I can see this, them hitting us on a counter-attack and we're actually going to draw this game. Three minutes of injury time. We have a highlight. It's taken all the second half, really. Bakuna into Bolhalder. Controls it. Has a go outside of his foot. It's a goal. Kick? The keeper definitely saved that. 30 seconds left to play. Lasso's goal kick over the halfway line. Dino Hotic doesn't get the ball. The one and only goal scorer heads it forward. Goppel. Runs down the right-hand side. Dino Hotic. 15 seconds left to play. Aguanaga's not going to get there. Heinloth. Lulic. Lulic, who's been booked, probably been booked for a very long time. Nichetti. Chong, the former Manchester United youth player, I believe. And he does a weird little kick, but it doesn't matter. It's too late. That is a shocking performance and a shocking result. 23 shots. Three on target. I'm getting aggressive because that's what I do. Everyone listened. We are at the halfway point then in the Eredivisie for us at the very least. Us and Hirenveen actually. We are both on 17 games. Everyone else seems to be on 19 games. There's a few teams in there as well also on 18 games. 
our two games in hand, if I look at this, if I work it out, we've got here and Veen there and there. So here and Veen is definitely a game in hand. Looking at it, I think it might actually be this here and Veen game here and possibly the FC Twente game because we've played Emmen twice already. So it's definitely not Emmen. Doesn't really matter anyway. We are two games behind everyone else. We are 10 points behind Ajax. It's a big gap to try and close, but we do have to play every team again apart from FC Emmen. So if there's any ever a time to do it, the second half of the season is, is the time to do it. Next episode, we are going to go to the end of the January transfer window. There won't be a huge amount of games in between. I think it's probably just going to be Utrecht and Zwoll. Um, there'll also be the transfer window, obviously, which will be open when we start the episode, because we'll start with the Ajax game, then we'll have here and Veen. There are transfers coming in, but there's not a huge amount of transfer budget, so I can't see us buying too many players. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Football Manager 2018 with FC Groningen. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.